Hello everyone, Attack Power here with Game 2 between Lissick and Ciro in the Steel Division 2 Season 11 League. Let's dive right in here to Harushaye. And on the left, in the red, we have Lissick playing, uh, I forget, 28th Jaeger on Maverick Income. And on the right, in the blue, we have Ciro playing 1st Pen Salosh also on Maverick Income. So a very interesting division here that we haven't seen in a long time. It just doesn't come up much anymore. 28th Jaeger. Uh, the division was very strong at several points in its life cycle. And currently it just isn't. Um, it just, I don't know. I don't know what it, what it doesn't really have. I, I just, the, I, the infantry just aren't good enough. Is I guess what it really boils down to, but it's weird because it's similar to 20 uh, to fifth Gebirg's Jaeger, but it just doesn't have the efficiency of units. I suppose that that one does. But let's dive in here. Uh, we have bunches of snipers in the recon tab. We have Jaeger Fusiliers, which are solid CQC infantry. Uh, the infantry tab, lots of Jaegers here. So Jaegers are 20 points. They have an MG42 in their hybrid infantry with some uh, G43s and some MP40s. And they're not very good at either of the two things. Like, they're not great at long range. and They're not great at CQC. Uh, the MG42 is nice for 20 points. That Definitely no argument there but they also don't put out a ton of damage. Uh, you have Sturmjäger, which are MP44 laden solid units, and you get lots of those. And then Jäger Pioneers, which are honestly like better as line infantry than CQC. And that's, you know, the division looks like it should be good to CQC because all the Jägers carry on MP40s in high numbers, but it actually ends up not being that great at CQC. The tank tab, just Stug 3s, which is fine. It's it's neither bad nor good, really. The support tab, really solid. You get IG-33s and Stu 42s and IG-18s, so you have a nice suite of uh, HE damage there. AT tab, solid. Pack 38s, Martyr 2s, Pack 40s, some good stuff there. AA, lacking but strong. You do get Flak 43s and you do get Flak Verlings, um, which are basically SDKs at 7-1s for all intents and purposes. And uh, yeah, so... Not a lot of it, but very good what you have. The Arty tab, really solid. You got Nebelwerfers. You get um, 150s. You get some off-map stuff. It really has a lot of good tools. And Focke Wolf spam in the air tab. So, yeah, again, it's got a lot of tools, but the infantry just don't stack up anymore. And that's basically the big issue with it, I think. I, I can't really see anything else that's like, wow, this is bad. Uh, on the other side, first Penselos, very strong division out of Men of Steel. Um Recon tab, nothing crazy here. You do get some Toldies, which is always nice. Uh, the the Recon two-man team come with higher veterancy, which, again, is nice. Um, the, all right, do they? Oh, the, he's just bringing the infantry, not the two-man team. The infantry, very strong. You have 15-point Pioneers in A. You get uh, the Motolovesh, which are very efficient 20-point units. Uh, then you get SS Reich Jaeger, which are basically buffed Panzergrens, and the SS Reich Pioneer, which is a double flamer unit. The tank tab, awesome with Tehran's and a card of Stug 3s. The rest of the Stug 3s are in the AT tab. Support tab, bad. This is definitely one of the weaknesses of the deck. The AT tab, uh, like I said, you get 75 mils and pack 40s, and the rest of it is basically the rest of your tank tab is here. AA tab, phenomenal. Nimrods, a flak, 88 for like your only 2k anything. Uh, the Arty tab, awesome. You get Nebelwerfers and 149, though I don't see the Nebelwerfers here, just the 149s. And the air tab is really phase locked. It's got a big phase locking issue, so you don't you you don't access a lot of your troops super early. It, it it's one of the I mean, once you get them, they're they're solid. You get a really fast fighter. The AT is good in the HES 129B3, along with the JU87 cluster. So you get some good AT options, but they're just phase lock into really uncomfortable positions your focke wolf does not have bombs it's just a recon which is kind of a bummer uh because the focke wolf with bombs is of course very nice because it has bombs duh so anyway diving in here we're a little early but that's okay mistiming things today um looks like a very big push up north coming i mean that's not uncommon uh but i feel like p players are so predictive of it that people don't do it <laughs> it's like one of those things where it's like you predict your enemy will do it I mean, as, it's always like one of those things like as the person as the red person you're like my opponent could push here but they know i'm going to put a lot of defense here so they won't so i won't put a lot of defenses here and then the blue side is like <laughs> it's up this weird like no one ends up committing up there but this time it looks like uh let's uh, no this is zero over here because apparently we can't use our own real names just because it's annoying af tons of infantry going in down south on the other side it looks like let going for a big push here into this flag he definitely wants it he wants it bad. He does have some defenses coming over. It's not like he's defenseless. But I don't know if that's enough to stop this. 
I, I actually do know it's definitely not enough to stop that. <laughs> I should be more specific. It, it, it's not enough. See an early IG-33, Martyr 2 as well. Not actually a lot going into the center here for Lissek. And this is the thing with first Pancelos is you do get so many efficient units, you can get a lot out in the early game. The thing is, you don't have a great A phase. Uh, your infantry are at their worst in A phase. I mean, they're still solid infantry, but they're definitely not, you know, as strong as like the right Pioneers and the right Jaeger. Uh, so, you know, you, you technically have your worst infantry at that point. Um, you don't have an Air Force. Ba you basically don't have an Air Force at that point either. Um, you still get all your other good tools, though, Tehrans and all that kind of stuff. 75 mil AT guns are phenomenal. Super, super duper efficient. Bakker Wolf getting lots of information. IG-18. Oh, the Lang Shorter Shock. I couldn't even see it. Lang Shorter Shock, they're getting it. Ouch. Little pickup kill there. Very nice. Sturmjäger does have an MG-42. I always forget it does. I always think it's just MP-44 stuff. 75 mil is going to wipe out that Pack 38 these things are so good. They really are. They have an awesome heat shell that does a lot of damage. They are not a heat shell. It's an HE shell. Then they do have a heat shell on top of that that has a, a really nice 90 millimeters of penetration. Lots of rounds of that. Uh, its accuracy is not terrible. It fires 12 rounds a minute. Like, it's just an all-round. And for freaking 30 points, this thing is like pumped to the moon. I don't fully understand why that unit is so good, to be honest with you. So, Lissix push, I mean, Asiro's push up north, developing here. Pack 38 is in position, though, stops the Tehrans. That's pretty big because it takes away the support from these infantry, and the infantry are not super good here. I mean, they're only 15 points, which is nice, but they are overwhelming this Sturmjäger. There's just a lot of them. Nimrod going to stop that Fokkerwolf bomber coming in there. Might even kill it. Nimrods are just that freaking good. Looks like it's going to come up short, but it's definitely damaged it. Nice early call on the Nimrod, saving his units there. Pretty big, actually. That Fokker would have easily cleared that out. Triple star. That's pretty to look at. Did he bring in double vet? Yeah, he did. He did. I was going to say, does he have a commander out already? No. No, he does not. Lang Shota Shock in a nice little position here to capture this flag. Panzer Eggers, which are a Panzer Shrek unit, but they have a bunch of MP44s. This push still moving forward. Pack 38 needs to be killed off, though, so the Tehrans can push in. That's a key part of this attack. Tehran's so good at support. Tehran 2 specifically. I still think Tehran 2s are much better than Tehran 1s. Range, HE damage. Gone over it several times. The Langstrom Sharks died? The Jaegers must have spotted them. Falker Wolf in again for reconning. Remember, it has no, the 189 has no, uh, it, it doesn't have any bombs or anything. All right, so he's just making the push. Pack 38 going to open up, gets the Nimrod. Oh, no. Of all the things, it's going to go down. Ouch. Pack 38 going to die, but that's 100% worth it. Like 1 billion bajillion percent worth it. And the Tartar, like, get in, in position in time. Ooh, unload pretty early. Reinforcements pouring in. Lissick does have... I mean, he's definitely got the southern flag. I don't see... These Tartalak like Lovesh have no chance of getting through this wall of Sturmjägers and stuff. Tron's now fully in. And these infantry are going to have a hard time with this. Whew! It's easy to forget how much damage these guys put out when they find someone out in the open. Do you see that thing literally lost like five units in one burst of fire from this thing? Shermier do go down though now, and the flag flips zero on a 1410. Tron's holding off the Sturmjägers now. Nothing they can do against these things. See a pack 38 and a Stug 3 coming in. Looks like recapture this flag in the center. Tartalek Lovesh, not great at long range at all. Surprised he brought those in there instead of like. Motolovesh. Or even just... Just, like, Tartalek Lovesh. Like, oh, these are Tartalek. They're not Pioneers. Sorry. I thought these were the grenade tossers. They're not. Oopsies. Are these 15 points? Yeah. I still say just bring the Motolovesh instead. Spend five more points. Get an MG42. That's just me, though. 
Tron 1 coming in, though. That's going to be an issue. These guys can't solve that problem. There's no Panther Shrek here. First pan solo showing why it's so dangerous. Because you get to bring in these stinking 30, 40 point tanks. And they just wipe out infantry. And then your infantry, which are also good, like on their own, become indomitable with this well, constant support of this light armor. Focke-Wolf now in again, but there is another Nimrod already. But unfortunately, it's at a weird angle. I don't think it's going to be able to stop the Focke-Wolf. It does not. Bombs away. Hit the Arkazok, but there was so much suppression, the spread was pretty bad. Focke-Wolf almost got in the back of the... The 189 almost got in the back of the 190, which would have been hilarious. All right. IG-18 and Jaegers trying to get in to recapture this flag here. Flak 43 stopping the 189. Might take it down. Ooh, just short. I feel like one more hit would have done it. No moving down south. Well, no, just kidding. There is movement here. Bunch of the like Lovesh. Tartalek Arkazak moving. For some, now the Jaeger Pioneer moving. That is such unfortunate timing, but this should be an easy kill for the Sturm Jaeger. Oh, but now it's a two on one. Still looking to pump out the damage. Triple star here. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. So beautiful. So much beautiful damage. But now the Tehran 1 has arrived. And the fight will be swung quite quickly here. Double machine gun on that Tehran 1 doing the job. Flak 43 up north stops the Flock of Wolf 189 recon there. But the position is grabbed. Like, Zero's in here. That is a crap ton of stuff to work through. It, it's going to take a lot of points for Lissick to dig that out. Tartalek Lovesh are in here. They don't have the grenade, though. Tartalek Arkazak get held up. That's not good. That's the unit he wants in the woods here. Now, Sturmjägers are not actually phenomenal CQC units. We talk about this plenty of times here. Do not misunderstand the MP44. It is not great at CQC. It's better than a rifle. Yeah, no, there's no arguing that. But it's definitely no submachine gun. And it's definitely not the kind of unit that you want to be fighting in the woods. And usually they're very expensive, too. Martyr 2, finding that Lovash fell direct talk. Tron 1 getting hit by the heat shell of the IG-18 there. Survives, though. Tron 1 not doesn't have nearly as much uh, HE damage, so it's not as scary. But it is 10 points cheaper, so, you know, and it does fire faster. So back to a 13-11 here for Ciro. Getting a very small advantage here at the beginning. We're not in B phase yet. Yucky Maverick Mirror. Takes all the excitement away. Oh, sorry. Late night as always. Got to keep these exciting games rolling, though. Molta Lovesh finally in. Martyr 2 versus Toronto. At this range, though, Toronto might win. Yeah, really went may well win this. It's firing its AP shell though, and it still wins it. Yeah, you gotta turn the AP off for them to use heat. It's literally the most obnoxious little thing. I don't I w I can Eugen, can you please fix that? If any Eugen person watches these, which I actually think sometimes they do, believe it or not. I am not like I don't want to toot my own horn, but I think sometimes they do. If you are watching this, please fix that annoying thing where Torontos use their AP first instead of their AP, instead of their heat. It's obnoxious AF. If I want the heat off, I'll turn it off. But I shouldn't have to request my tank use the, the higher penetration weapon. Doesn't work that way on any other unit. Jaeger's pushing into the woods. Let's check this unit out. I mean, they do have seven MP40s. It's, they should be okay at CQC. and They only have two rifles in the MG42. Like I said, it's a hybrid unit that's supposed to be mostly a CQC unit, but MP40s are that underwhelming, and they just... Other CQC units in the game right now are so much stronger that it's just not very good. Like, yeah, you see, like, that wasn't... It really wasn't impressive. Oh, gosh darn it. 
I mean, they're putting the damage out. I'm not taking that away from them, but they're just going to die now to a grenade, and that's the issue. Is there CQC units that aren't phenomenal in any specific way at CQC? They just happen to have a bunch of, of submachine guns. Which means they have no longer range firepower. And the thing is, Sturmjägers really don't have much long range firepower either. So the only long range firepower you have infantry wise is your Jaeger Pioneers, which is awkward because that's supposed to be your CQC unit. It's, it's just like a weird setup of units. These also only have two rifles. Yeah, so I just feel like the division falls in this weird place. Now, the thing is that this isn't, it's not like anything changed about the division. It's always had the same setup. Tehran 2 gets a pen there. Does have the AP shell off. And you see, there we go. Now it's fantastic. Oh, that is so obnoxious. Eugen, please fix it. That's just like a, that's just a, that's a, that's not even like me complaining about the balance of the game or something. That's just a, a ease of life thing. And it's, I feel like it's a bug. Smart people in the comments. Is that a bug or is that supposed to be that way? Because I don't feel like any other unit works that way. When a unit is in APCR range, it automatically fires APCR. With this this 75 mil, fires heat rounds before it fires AP shells. I, I don't understand why that singular unit does that. That was really good. Like, it took out a Stug easily at this range. Because remember, heat shells don't lose penetration over range. So this is 90 millimeters of penetration at every range between at every range of 1250 meters. So whether it's 1250 or 100, it's always that 90 millimeters of penetration, which is really strong. That's what makes heat so strong in the game. IG33 gets absolutely whacked. I don't know why he brought that into this position. That I like IG18, sure, but not that. You have 105 now in as well. So some close range arty support will be very accurate with at this close. Tehran goes down to the pack 38. No movement down south, really. MG34 stopping an infantry push. And now Sierra on a 15-9 with the capture of this center town. Honestly, 28th Jaeger is a weird pick for this map. Because you need long range infantry in this town. Like you, you need infantry that can fight at longer ranges because there's a lot of space. You're not actually fighting very close very often here in this this town. Nice surrender there from the Flammenwerfer. Fun fact, Jaeger Flammenwerfers have two flamethrowers. Don't know why. They just do. Does it ever feel like it makes a difference? No, not really. They still kind of die pretty quick. They should be way better. I mean, they have two flamethrowers. They should be so much better. They are five points more. But I never feel like they're all that much better. It never feels that way, at least. I don't know. Not that I use the division often anymore. But I always remember, like, when I noticed it, I was like, oh, these guys are going to be freaking awesome. And it never, it never felt like they were. <laughs> it never actually ended up feeling that way. It's just 129. Was it going for the Stug 3 way back here? It's kind of weird. That wasn't even on the map yet. Bunch of Jaegers and Jaeger Pioneers coming in. Big off map in now. This one's pretty heavy. It's 210 millimeters. That one's pretty strong. Kills the leader because it always does. Literally always. That, that round literally ran, landed on top of him like it was fated to kill that leader. Can we see their bodies? Nope, they already disappeared. Now we see already going for the A. There's two 149s in. That's artillery piece in the game. Are we in? Yeah, we're... we're in, yeah, no, no, we're solidly in C phase. They have it like on the backwards thing. No way, no we're not. No, we're we're in B phase. We're in B phase, I'm sorry. We're we're solidly in B phase. We're right in the middle of B phase. Fogwolf in in the center, no Nimrod to stop it there. The Fogwolf F8 with the many 50 kilogram bombs is not phenomenal. Again, the usual issue of the the bombs are spread, so they don't do as much concentrated damage. Can the 149 kill the 210? I hope so. You know I want it. Don't tell me what I want, what I really, really want. I want a dead off map because I really went a dead. I want to, I want to, I want to. Ooh, nice little hit there on the Stug 3, consequently. Coincidentally, I should say. Off map in again, doing a lot of damage this time. Yeah, again, I just don't get 
28th Jaeger on this map. I really don't. The Shug 3s are not great in the town. Like, they really are not. Um... I'm just, I'm trying to think of w what advantages it has. And I'm not really coming up with any. I really, like, don't understand why you'd pick this deck, this division here. Um, <laughs> nope, I, I don't see it. I can't believe there's no other division, like 26 Strelke maybe instead? That division really doesn't get banned that much. Whoa, big hit there on the 149. Ouch. That's just an unfortunate hit. But Lizard brought all the way back to a 12-12. Stuck through on the hill, though, now. Getting a side shot on the Stu 42. Misses. Oh. Oh, Stug 3. Why can't you land your first shot? Now it's going to bounce on the Stu 42. Stu 42. What? It can't see that? The sharp shoes that can't see it? I'm calling bull. I'm calling some baloney. I don't even see a line of sight here. Does bounce. It took one penetration. Stug 3 will get one more shot at it. It looks like. No, it doesn't look like Lissick backed up far enough. And down it goes. Ouch. And now the SS Right Jaeger are in with their double MG42. I mean, this is so much stronger than anything 28th Jaeger has. Zero so back to a 1410. 35 bell moving in for that Stug 3. Each shell with its 90 millimeters of penetration is like the same as the Tehran. And look at that penetration. God, this unit is so freaking good. Gonna get pinned, though, because of the arty. Hard to look low of stopping the Jaeger Pioneer from getting any further. That's just right. Jaeger would love to get into this wood. They should be able to chop this up pretty good. And now the SSRI Jaeger and in, and these are really strong comparatively. Things quiet up north, and Sierra has a, just a ton of troops here. He's really doubled down to hold this. And if he can just grab this one more flag here in the town, then he'll have the 15 9. Tron 2 goes down to the Martyr 2. Not nearly as lucky as last time. Stug 3 takes out another Stug 3. Ouch. Lissa is honestly probably running low on Stug 3s. He's lost several. He's only got 10. And we've seen 5 or 6 go down already. Martyr 2 takes a penetration from the Stug 3. Will it get another shot off before the Martyr 2 fires? It will. Will they trade? No. The Martyr 2 will miss. Oh. Ouch. That is unfortunate. Jaeger Pioneer into the woods. It looks like a push is happening now. Lovash stopping the Jaeger Pioneers here. Your single machine gun doing work on these uncovered Jaeger Pioneers. Fogel 189's in for the recon. It's down south. They'll get it. In the center, Flak 43 going to force it off. Might kill it too. Lost this flag up north temporarily. Big 3 moving in. Here's doing a nice job now of turning off his AP. Has a leader, uh, Artie leader in for the 149 to make them even more deadly. Nice little softening with Artie here down south. Really nice. Getting accurate too because of the recon plane. Excellent little combined arms play here from Zero. Let's see if he accidentally bombs his own troops. He is, yes. Oopsies. <laughs> These right Jaeger pioneers, these right pioneers have no issue whatsoever. Absolutely cutting th down these infantry. Yeah, the leader's already dead. Oh, two on one. Oh, this is just. Oh, this is just nasty. No chance at all. Even the Tartar like Lovesh winning now. Fockerwolf get a bomb strike. Oh, oh no. This would be huge, but the Artie saves the day. Oh. <laughs> Fogwolf trying to get on the back of the 189, I would think. Oh, so close. Reinforcements pouring in. There's now a Tehran 1 here, though, and that's going to ruin this day for Lissac if he doesn't notice in time. Bunches of infantry moving in, but more armor. 
just keeps coming. Up north, flag recapture with a push of Motolovesh here. Back down south, did the Tehran one get any kills? No, he can't even see them. No, he should, he should definitely see them. There we go. Tron 1's turrets turn so freaking slow. Why is he not firing? Is he waiting for an invitation? A handwritten gold invitation? Down goes one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, oh god. Oh, I just threw it in my mouth. Oh my god, that was so bad. Oh my, oh my, that was 90 points of units. No, excuse me, 75. Wow, oh, that was so bad. Oh, that was so awful. Oh, you never want to see that. Like, that is so bad. There's literally an entire tick of income. <laughs> Just died instantly to Tehran 1. And now Cyril on a 15-9. We're into C phase. You see another 149 out. Oh my goodness, the arty here. Now, if there's one Nebelver for 300 mil right here would just be so backbreaking. <laughs> like if he if he knew and could perfectly position like aim a, a strike right here, it just was like boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. It's not gonna happen, but man. So now this flag very much secured by Zero, and we're now into C phase, which means it's going to be hard for either player to string together a really big push now. I mean, most are relying on troops on the map unless they trade really well and have a whole bunch of extra points. All three already going after the 150. This should be... Oh, here's the Nebelwerfer. It's going after the Nimrod. I, I do understand that. Kind of. I don't know why he wouldn't just bring it up further. Like, he could very easily put it, like, within 2,000 meter range. <clears throat> but Ciro here on a strong double tick. Nope, just kidding. I said strong, and of course he lost it right away. It just be, I was going to say, there should be an easy flag to cap. Neville for strike away. 149's now going to town. Neville should be able to kill the Nimrod. Nimrod running, though. Mike it away. HS129 gets a shot off. Loses line of sight. He did. Oof. And the Nimrod didn't die. Nothing falling Lissix way here. Tron 2 goes down, though. 150 getting absolutely demolished. Oh, good lord. No chance! Oh, this is, this is frightening. That should do it. There it is. Wow. Just decimated. Toronto 1 versus Pack 40, not a good fight. <laughs> Toronto 1 goes down pretty quick. Up north, Toronto's did go down. This flag flipped. A lot of these infantry are just Tartalex. They're not even like, they need to be the right Jaeger. There they are. Here comes some real infantry. Triple star right Jaeger. Ooh, that's pretty. Stug 3 spotting will look like the shook through but it's not firing out now no it gets a bailed out oh my goodness lissex bad luck continues now the toldy twos doing some work here they're basically just tron ones with recon already going after the flak 43 but that did move the arty park here the arty party of 149s so good so, so, so good. Going after the Geb now as well. Kind of sad to see him break up the part, the band here and like split up the fire. They're so devastating when all three of them fire at something. He really wanted his AA dead and I do appreciate that, but it didn't happen. So close to getting back to his 15-9 here. There he goes, he does it. And with the Shugs dying, these Toldies and Tehrans can just bully every light ar soft unit on the in the map. Pack 40 goes down almost instantaneously, this 149. So much value out of these things. That's what you want. That's what you need to have happen. If you're going to spend... I mean, if you're going to spend 130 points on an arty piece, it, it's got to get you value. It can't do nothing. 
Get one of five now under pressure. Yeb is already dead. Yeb is dead. Yebby Debbie. Yeah, I'm not I'm trying to find a way for Lissick to get back into this game. It's really tough. His infantry are just not efficient enough, honestly. Like, the Sturmjagers are going down pretty quick. They are only 25 points. I mean, from a cost standpoint, it, he should be efficient enough, but, the, like, the right Jaegers are just so much better at range than all of his infantry. And now with this Artie Park of 149s, that can absolutely eviscerate anything that gets spotted and doesn't immediately move. Infantry get unloaded, but there's two Tehrans here. We'll easily be able to kill off these MG42s, and the 149 is already coming down. The Fokker is giving recon as well. Doesn't even need the radar. Radio, I always say radar. Doesn't even need the radio of a leader. Foldy goes down to the Stug 3. Stug 3 spots it though. Leader's gonna get the first shot. I'm pretty sure he's damaged though. I'm actually 100% sure he's damaged. Ooh, but it misses. The leader misses too. And does not get another shot off. Big kill there. Pack 38 can go down to the 75 mil. No, this is a pack 40. Excuse me. Still 15-9. Only three minutes left here for Lissek. MG42 down. Tron 2 going after that IG-18. That nice high HE damage doing the work. Fully 2 under attack now as well. Tartel of Lovesh. How does he still have these? Oh, he has a B phase one. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I didn't see the B phase one. Did not see the B phase one at all. I forget you get two cards on. I forget, I forget most people only take one. Already takes out the MG42. And now only a Jaeger holds the south as units just pour in. Zero smelling the blood in the water down there. Neville for strike. Took out, I assume, an Imrod. I don't see one, so I'm assuming it died just now. It's hard to tell. Yeah, there it is. She took there in the hill. Ooh, a crew killed. Can the Tehran 2 finish the job? Gets hit. Bounces. It should get another shot off. It fires much faster than the Stug 3. Wow, the heat shell bouncing both times. Seems shocking, actually. Unfortunate. Stug 3 survives. That lucky crit saving the day. No reinforcements coming down south. He's going to lose this flag for sure. Jaeger on the run. Ye Ye right Pioneer's in. Sierra needs to get moving and take advantage of this. He is now. Totally two guns. Stug 3 is cleaning house right now. Act 40 moving to try to stop it. Up north, there's not a lot Lissa can do here. Now one minute left. It appears his fate may be sealed. A wonderful demonstration, though, of the power of first Pen Salosh. Just, it does a lot of things. It just does a lot of good things. It's not without its weaknesses, but it's, they definitely don't outweigh its strengths. 1525 to 2850. 28th Jaeger. I just don't think this division has it these days. I don't think it's a bad division, but there's so many divisions that do what it does better. Fifth Kabir Jaeger being a perfect example. Um, that it just doesn't it doesn't stand up the way it used to. And again, there were times where that division was really, really good. Look at this, 149. Wow. And this is just not one of those times these days. Um, you know, it's tough. It's rough. I, I do hope I <laughs> The rumor on the street is that the, the bounce patch coming, which I'm assuming will probably come with the DLC because it sounds like it's going to be pretty big. Um, or maybe probably like halfway in between, so maybe like sometime in December. Um, apparently, they're they're looking at a lot of older divisions and looking to maybe uh, bring them up to snuff, which would definitely be phenomenal. I think that would be great for the game. 
get it back into alignment. Uh, you know, we all know Men of Steel is a little out of whack, but it's what they do to sell stuff. I get it. It's a business. You know, they got to make money, guys. It can't all just be about making the game perfectly balanced as much as we wish it was. But, you know, it is what it is. And if you guys enjoy that, though, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider checking out that Patreon down below. Thank you to all current and past Patreon subscribers. It means a lot and really helps me out. Thanks a bunch, guys, and have a fantastic day.